I'm afraid of some Louis Vuitton. I, this is so good. This is this is so good. This is so good. The number one spot in my collection from Louis Vuitton goes to this. What's good, YouTube? It's your boy Darren. I'm the Voltai Fragrance Guy. I talk about fashion on this channel. I talk about fragrance as well. So if you're into fashion and fragrance, hit the subscribe button and make sure you hit the bell icon as well. So that way, when a new video is uploaded on this channel, you'll be one of the first people to get notified. Guys, I'm very excited about today's video because I'm going to be talking about a brand that I've been exploring a lot here uh, lately, and that's the brand of Louis Vuitton. Now, in my humble opinion, Louis Vuitton doesn't get a lot of commentary on YouTube. Uh, that could be because of the price point. I'm not sure. But whatever the case is, I want to take you guys uh, into uh, the brand of Louis Vuitton and talk to you guys about what I feel are the best five fragrances in the Louis Vuitton uh, portfolio for guys. All right. So that's what we're going to be talking about today on today's video. Now, guys, I hope you are digging the suit today. This is the latest suit that I've gotten uh, from the company Spear McKay. You guys know that I champion Spear McKay uh, because you can get a very, very high quality suit at a very, what I would consider affordable price for what you are going to get. Now, I always link it down below. This isn't a sponsored video or anything, but I'm wearing the suit, so I want to tell you guys. But if you like to check out Spear McKay, man, I'll make sure that I put my code up right here. Because if you go over to Spirit McKay and shop, you can get uh, $20 off of your order. So if you're looking for a nice suit, I highly recommend Spirit McKay because they have some of the best in the business. Uh, the options that you get on these suits off of the rack is just it's unheard of, man. So compare this suit to a suit that you're going to get from Belt or Dealers. I promise you, you'll see what I'm talking about. So anyway, if you're looking for a good suit or maybe a nice uh, you know, shirt or shoes, whatever you're looking for, Guys, check out Spear and McKay because I highly recommend that particular brand. But anyway, that's just my little style thing for today. We're going to go ahead and run the intro. And when we come back, we're going to be jumping into the five best fragrances from the brand of Louis Vuitton. So if you want to see what's on the list, you guys know the routine. Keep it locked right here. Let's get it. The Bowtie Fragrance Guy. All right, guys, we are back. Thank you so much for keeping it locked in. Let's jump right into this video. Now, I did say that we we're going to be talking about the top five fragrances from the brand of Louis Vuitton, but I do have a quick honorable mention. And this fragrance is one that made my list this year for summer fragrances, and I believe that it is a great summer fragrance. The brand, of course, we're talking about the brand of Louis Vuitton, but the fragrance is called Afternoon Swim. Afternoon Swim. And as I said before, guys, this is a great summer fragrance. The reason why this is an honorable mention and it's not in the top five, because obviously I like the top five a little bit more than this one. And in my opinion, those are a little bit more creative in their own way. But Afternoon Swim, again, is a great fragrance. It is one that I think most people, when they put their nose on it, are going to be a fan of the fragrance. Now, again, it's a fragrance. But it has that very aquatic uh, vacation kind of feel to it um, get a lot of citruses in this fragrance and that of course aquatic kind of sea salty aquatic undertone again just the perfect fragrance that I think uh, would want to compel anybody to want to take this with them if they were going to go on a vacation in the summertime that's really what this smells like as the name indicates it is going to put you in the mindset of being seaside or either poolside whichever you like the best you know it works in both scenarios but that's really what this fragrance is all about and like i said you're going to see the other ones that i'm going to talk about to me are a little bit more you know creative have a little bit more versatility but at the end of the day this is a very great scent it smells amazing that's why it is even on the list as an honorable mention so again you know the brand we're talking about louis vuitton and again this one is called afternoon swim all right guys now coming in in the fifth spot this is one of the fragrances that 
really, um, I would use the word mass appealing. There's a several on this list that are really mass appealing. This is one of those fragrances that's really hard for people not to like when they smell it on your skin. Uh, again, it comes in the fifth spot because this list is so difficult to really uh, rank these. But anyway, uh, this one is called Meteore. Meteore. And again, very mass appealing, guys. When you hear some of the main notes in here, you'll see why. Uh, Mandarin orange, Sicilian orange. So you get a double dose of oranges in the opening of this fragrance and your nose is going to really be able to easily detect uh, those two notes. Well, even if you didn't know what type of orange it was, you're gonna get orange, all right? Because there's a double dose of it and it's hot and heavy in here. What I love about this uh, is the, the combination of the citruses, the nice juicy oranges that you get in the opening with neroli. Again, you guys know I'm a big fan of neroli and there's a great uh, dose of neroli in this fragrance as well. And some spices, nutmeg, cardamom. Those are the main two spices that my nose is able to detect in this fragrance. And again, it just really smells absolutely phenomenal. That the spices in here, the nice juicy oranges that you get in here as well. Uh, and there's some better on the dry down. Really hard. Like I said with the first fragrance, not to like this scent DNA. Just being honest with you guys, I can't really think of anybody smelling this and not being a fan of it. Smells phenomenal, man. Check it out. Again, of course, you know the brand we're talking about, Louis Vuitton. The fifth spot, in my humble opinion, goes to Meteore. All right, guys, then coming in at the fourth spot, I ranted and raved about this fragrance when I first got it, and rightfully so. If you love Rose and Oud, this is the one that I think you really need to explore from the brand and of course this one is called ombre nomad ombre nomad again that guys this is the only one on the list i'll go ahead and tell you that has comes in the dark bottles and just because i forgot to mention this most of the fragrances from louis vuitton and as i said this may be the reason why they're not as popular uh start at about the 300 price point but when you look at these darker bottles like Ombre Nomad, you're looking at about 350, sometimes 375, 380. Uh, but to me, they are worth it because you can take the bottles back if you run out and get a refill for, uh, I don't think it's maybe 200 bucks or something like that. But anyway, Ombre Nomad. If you're a Rose Oud fan, this is the one that you need to check out from the brand. Oh my God. Now, you have to like smokiness because there's a double dose of smoke in here coming kind of from incense. Um, in this fragrance, you get a lot of incense. Uh, in this particular fragrance, you get oud, obviously, you get rose, raspberry, and that birch also lends to this kind of smoky uh, accord that you're going to get uh, with Ombre Nomad. Now, there's also, um, in the heart of this fragrance, when it starts to really dry down, uh, you're going to pick up a lot more. The raspberry really starts to come in at that point uh, when it starts to dry down to kind of give it not really... It's not really sweetness. It almost adds maybe a little sweetness, but kind of bitter as well uh, is what the raspberry does in this. But you're also going to get some, some saffron in here to give this leathery feel. So this is kind of like your, your favorite rose oud fragrance meets Tuscan leather from Tom Ford. That's kind of sort of what this thing smells like, but it smells phenomenal. Now, this one to me has restrictions because I would not wear this when it's hot outside. You know, there may be some people that feel differently. Do your thing. Uh, but I reserve this for cold weather. But when I put this on, I just feel like the man, the boss, when I wear this. So the fourth spot on this list goes to, obviously, one of my favorites from the brand. And again, this is called Ombre Nomad. All right, guys. Now, coming in at the third spot, uh, this one is called Nouveau Mind. Nouveau Mind. Now, some people say that this fragrance actually kind of resembles the aforementioned Ombre Nomad, and I can kind of see where people are coming from with that, but this fragrance is really different to me. Uh, there's some slight similarities, and when you hit a note breakdown, you'll probably see where I'm coming from, because this one also has saffron, this one also has oud, uh, but this also is going to give you leather, all right? And that, the leather, the caramel, and the vanilla are the three notes that really make this different, a different fragrance from Ombre Nomad, and I really dig it. There's also a note of cacao in here, but the cacao is not really of the sweet variety. It's more kind of bitter. But because of all those heavier notes like the oud and the leather and the saffron, it does seem to give a slight sweetness to this fragrance, especially when you combine that with the caramel and the vanilla in this scent. 
Now, by no means is this a gourmand, but there's a slight sweetness again that would make you think about a gourmand fragrance that kind of runs uh, through the heart of this fragrance, and I absolutely love it. Honestly, when I compare this to uh, Ombre Nomad for the average person out there, this is probably going to be a little bit more wearable, all right? Whereas, again, that double dose of smoke in Ombre Nomad is really makes it an acquired taste to me, but this is a little bit more wearable and a little bit sweeter, and I think that appeals to more people. But anyway, this is an absolutely amazing fragrance from the brand, and that's why it's on my list and the third spot. Again, this one is called Nouveau Monde. All right, guys, now coming in at the number two spot, this is a fragrance, the fragrance from this brand that I've talked about the most on this channel, but it only comes in at the number two spot, so you definitely need to stay tuned to what number one is. And again, this one is called La Monsite. La Monsite, guys, I've talked about this one the most out of all these fragrances, so I don't want to talk, take up too much time on this one, but it just smells so good. I think this is probably the most... Uh, recognizable fragrance from the brand uh, as it talks about uh, pertains to the ones that are uh, catered towards men or marketed towards men La Mancite. very easy to wear very mass appealing smells good again hard for anybody in my opinion uh, that smells this on your skin not to like it it's just one of those kind of scent DNAs some of the main notes you're gonna get in this is grapefruit uh, you're gonna get some geranium in here as well uh, you're going to get some ginger and you are going to get some ambroxan. Those are some of the main notes to my nose. And like I said, very easy to wear, man. This thing smells good, garners a lot of attention, garners a lot of compliments. But I have one in my collection that's even better than this in this same category. But as good as this is, um, obviously, like I said, there's one that's kind of come in here and overtaking this one. And I'll tell you about it in a moment. But this is still a really great fragrance. So check it out. Again, the number two spot goes to this one right here, and it's called La Monsite. <sighs> All right, guys, the, the number one fragrance from Louis Vuitton. I, this is so good. This is, this is so good. This is so good. The number one spot in my collection from Louis Vuitton goes to this one, Imagination. Imagination. Man, listen. This thing is so good. Like seriously, I really can't think of anything else to say about it because this thing, again, it goes into the same category with La Monsite. All those things I said about La Monsite are true for this fragrance. This one is just better. Plain and simple is a little bit better. They both open up with some bright citruses, mandarin orange, I think Sicilian orange. Um, there's also neroli in this one. There's ginger in this one as well. But the game changer, in this fragrance right here. There's Embroxin in this as well, so those notes are similar, but the game changer in this fragrance is black tea and cinnamon in the heart. And you just have to smell this fragrance to understand what I am talking about and what this, that those notes do to this particular DNA. This stuff is a compliment magnet. This is an attention-grabbing fragrance. It smells phenomenal, all right? Take my word for this, guys. You need to check this fragrance out. Get a sample of, the, if you, sample of this one if you can. It's in the number one spot for a reason, and that's saying a lot because I have five other dynamite fragrances that I've talked about prior to this one, but this one takes the cake. The number one spot in my Louis Vuitton collection that I would recommend to you guys is this right here. Imagination. But that is it, guys. That is my time. I hope you enjoyed the video today. What are some other fragrances from the brand of Louis Vuitton that you guys think are absolutely amazing? I would love to hear from you down in the comment section. And as always, I sincerely appreciate you guys' time and attention to these videos. I know you don't have to watch, but you do, and I sincerely appreciate that. And don't forget to make sure you take a few moments to go ahead and like, comment, and subscribe. And make sure you're sharing these videos out to some other folks out there that you think could use this information or find it entertaining. Because I'm your guy, Darren. I'm the Voltaire Fragrance Guy. I love to look good, and of course, I love to smell amazing. So until next time, guys, keep looking good, keep smelling even better. I'll catch you on the flip side. Peace.